Back to school is one of the best times of the year for Amazon sellers to make tons of profit reselling name brand products. And I want to make sure you're fully prepared, even if we're still a few months away. A few years ago, my first back to school is when I sold my first 100K in one single month, and it completely changed my life forever. But 99% of sellers won't be fully prepared and will under execute and not hit their full potential. And I don't want that to be you. So in this video, I'm going to walk through when back to school happens, what are the best products for back to school, how to take full advantage and some special cheat codes, tips, tricks, and strategies that are going to have you prepared to make as much profit as possible. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 25 year old seven figure Amazon seller on a mission through my channel to help as many of you guys as possible build a side hustle or business of your dreams. Let's get right into the video. To start off, when actually is back to school? Back to school really kicks off right when parents start buying products for their kids going back to school, which is typically going to be in early July. So you want to start buying products to sell on Amazon for back to school right when that demand starts to pick up. So you're going to be looking to start purchasing that stuff in mid-June as well as mid-July and especially taking advantage of it during July, August, and September via merchant and fulfilling specific products. So the cool thing is we're going to jump inside my screen and each product is going to pop off at a different time. But the nice thing is the data is actually going to tell us exactly when. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get notified when certain items become profitable. I also get asked all the time what products actually sell best. So the cool thing is combining what products sell best and when you actually want to start looking into selling back school products, the data is completely clear. And I like the idea of just letting Amazon tell you the best performing products. So if we just take a look at this on Amazon from the consumer view and look up Crayola crayons right here, immediately we see an onslaught of listings that have boatloads of reviews right here. 6,000 reviews, 2,600 reviews, 4,000 reviews, 600 reviews. So we know that these products sell really well. And the nice thing is, as Amazon resellers, we're not buying products that don't have tons of sales history. So if we open up a couple of these, we're actually going to be able to see the sales history on all of these items and how they've performed in the past and when they actually started to pop off. So if we take a look at this product specifically, we can see this has a 2,000 sales rank right here. So we know that this product sells really well. Now it does have the IP alert. However, uh, I'm pretty sure Crayola has an uh, IP specifically here. It's just suspected IP on selling. But obviously you do need to do your own due diligence, look at the Cupid chart, see if there's any off account cliffs that would indicate that there might be a potential IP. However, if we take a look at the Cupid chart down here, this has really good demand already. If we take a look at the last year here, we can see that the, sale, the sales rank was really high or at least a lot higher during the winter when it makes sense that people aren't buying crayons as much during Christmas break and such, you know, December 27th and everything. But we can see the sales rank slowly went in April of last year. It was around like 3,000 and then 1,000. And then by June and July, it starts to absolutely plummet and that the sales rank went from 1,500 all the way down to about a 30 sales rank. So subsequently, it makes sense that eventually the competition started to absolutely drop right there. So we can see this product had really good demand and its demand especially started to pick up as we got into mid July and such. And it just absolutely plummeted specifically right here. Let's take a look at this item too here. We can see this one's already an incredibly good sales rank where right a lot of these Crayola and multi packs do well. If we scroll down to keep it here and we can see sales rank already starting to go down here, but we can get a holistic view taking a look at the year long. We can see that last year sales rank was up around like 11 K went all the way down to, yeah, literally a 16 sales rank right there. So the nice thing is don't rely on anything that's not hard data right here for the stuff, guys. And then we can see this one, okay, didn't have a sales rank, but we can see price started to really shoot up in June and such and stayed up there until like August, went down a little bit in September. Right here. So the cool thing is don't rely on anything that's not data for the stuff, guys, right? And just think, think what would sell well, Hit those consumer search terms on Amazon and see what pops up. Like, for example, Nike backpacks. I made a bunch of money selling Nike backpacks. If we take a look at these guys here, we can see, taking a look at these, sales rank is pretty consistent right here. But if we take a look at the year long, right in like early J July, the sales rank goes from like 30K all the way down to like a 2K rank right here. So we can see, we don't have to rely on anything that's not completely hard data to see exactly when the stuff pops off and subsequently makes perfect sense. Competition goes down here, price absolutely goes up. So we want to be as prepared as possible for those products. Another massive component of taking advantage of different seasonal opportunities, whether that's back to school or the fourth quarter in October to December is going to be merchant fulfilling products. Now, typically on my channel, you see me talk about 
doing FBA where you ship your products off in bulk to the Amazon FBA warehouse. That's an incredibly efficient business model. The nice thing is you can also do FBM even on the same account or even on the same specific item. FBM stands for merchant filling on Amazon where you ship the product directly to the customer so you avoid the Amazon FBA fees, but you do pay individual shipping costs. This does a couple things for you. It lets you make money a lot quicker. It lets you learn a lot quicker and products that are above 25 bucks, but below one pound, the way the breakdown of individual shipping typically via USPS or UPS, whichever is cheaper on Amazon. If you want a good guide on getting going with Merchant Build as a beginner, go to howtofbm.com. That's howtofbm.com. I have a really good free Google Doc for you guys on there. They tend to be a little bit cheaper, specifically if it's above 25 bucks, but below one pound. And FBM is incredible for seasonal products, but the key is that it's not always doable for every product. You need to see if you can actually get the buy box on it. Taking a look at these shoe boxes here, we could see it makes sense that these would do well as like a lunch box or something for back to school. If we rock and roll down here, we can see now this item currently has a hundred sellers. But the interesting thing, guys, is we can see that the price is actually going up here, right? So it's it's stable going up and the competition's actually going down here. The interesting thing is we can see that there's a hundred sellers on it. Now we need to figure out, okay, could we actually FBM this product? Because not every product are we going to be able to FBM. The way we're going to do that is by going to data and then buy box statistics on Keepa. And now what we can do is we can see everyone who's been currently selling this product and what fulfillment method they're using. So we can see if we filter top to bottom here to see who's getting the most of it, we can see this seller is getting 31% of the buy box share. This one's getting 13%. And if we scroll over, we can actually see the fulfillment type they're using. We can see that these two sellers are not doing Amazon FBA. They're doing Amazon FBM on this product, at least the majority of the time. So this is the kind of thing that we would definitely be able to test out FBM, especially if you're interested in setting up zero day handling time, which is a major hack to get going with this stuff, as well as using an automated repricing software. And if you want to get started with the repricer, search on YouTube, full for miles repricer, or check the link in the description as well. This product, however, here we can see Everyone on it is currently FBAing it, right? And if we rock and roll down here and take a look at the data buy box statistics right here, we can see that only 1% of the buy box share is going to FBM sellers over the past 30 days. So this is the kind of thing that I assume is not going to be an FBM friendly listing. Sure, you could test it, but in general, right, if 99% of the buy box share is going FBA, you're probably not going to be able to as well. It's a decent idea as a beginner too. If you can see other people FBM something, test it out for 48 or 72 hours and see what happens in an FBA if not. However, if you're seeing a lot of people making money on an FBA, make sure you have your shipping template set up correctly, which is basically just doing free shipping, charging $30 plus $1 per pound for your orders. That's going to help you optimize your templates. It's not necessarily necessary, but it's, it's really helpful. And then do, using zero day handling time is going to really compress your delivery dates. And while you'll have to ship the orders quicker, Amazon's give you, gonna give you a ton more buy box share and that can be crucial to get your buy box eligibility as an FBM seller from day one. Okay, now this is an incredibly good way to find back to school products. And if you're a beginner, what you should be focusing on in general, it should be the storefront stocking method. Using SellerAmp, just rocking and rolling down here and opening up sellers and going ahead and taking a look at exactly what they're selling. Inside their storefronts here, we can see all the different brands they're carrying right? As well as all the different categories they're carrying, as well as we can scroll through and find all their specific products. However, here's a hack for storefront stocking. If we take a look at this product specifically we can hear high school volleyball and college volleyball is in the fall. So it makes sense that volleyball stuff is a back to school product, similar to school supplies and backpacks and soccer and football gear, etc. And whatever else chat GPT says sells well during back to school. If we take a look at this listing down here on the Keepa chart, we can see that the demand really increased as the sales rank absolutely plummeted here and the price nicely went up. So there were sellers getting buy box share at 40, even when the lowest price was 33, right? So what we can do is if we go to data buy box stats here, right? And then actually go ahead and filter to the 365 day view and then go here, average price and filter top to bottom. We can see who sold this product at the highest price, which means these are going to be really smart sellers here. Now what we can do guys is rock and roll over here and open up these other sellers here, right? And click open their storefront URL here, right? And then what we can actually do is copy this over and go over on sas.selleramp.com, which is a selleramp homepage and actually go ahead and plug this in here, right? And now see their storefront here. And the cool thing is 
these are the really smart sellers that took advantage and sold this product at the peak. So you can go to any of the listings we've taken a look at here, guys, go to the buy box statistics, filter to 365 days, filter top to bottom to see who sold at the most expensive price, and then open up these URLs here, plug it in on sas.selleramp.com and storefront stock those sellers to see what other listings they have. Now, another question I know I'm gonna get is how to actually estimate FBM shipping costs right here and what supplies you need for FBM because FBM is gonna be so popping. Honestly, as right now, it's definitely gonna be popping come back to school. So what we wanna do is go over here on Sell Amp and we can see the weight of this item right here. So we can see this prox only three ounces. Now, like I said, go to howtofbm.com if you want a full breakdown of estimated FBM shipping costs. What we do from there is actually just scroll down here and take a look at the profit calculator on Selleramp, toggle this guy over to FBM, and then plug in the corresponding estimated FBM shipping cost compared to the weight that you guys see at the top on Selleramp. So go to howtofbm.com, pull that estimated guide, eventually you'll memorize it, and that's gonna be what you're gonna plug in to estimate FBM shipping costs and have your exact numbers as an FBM seller for back to school. You're also going to want to be prepared with a bunch of these 9 by 12 poly mailers. These are incredibly helpful for, you know, all different types of clothing uh, and apparel items, backpacks as well. Backpacks, you're going to need the bigger ones, probably close to that uh, 19 by 24. And then if you want, you can be prepared with a bunch of boxes from Walmart too. However, in my opinion, if you're a beginner seller, get sales as quick as possible. If you have sales and orders to fulfill, that's a much higher priority. You can go to Walmart and figure out whatever boxes fit there. Your priority should be getting sales as quick as possible. These are some of the box sizes I like. These poly mailers are really good. Walmart, your local Walmart's probably going to have other sizes as well. Figure out what items you're mainly selling and then optimize the box sizes around that. Other options are going to be Uline and then there's this one called the Boxer. I think that's good as well. Okay, guys, this is some really, really important sourcing sauce. Make sure you listen up here and take advantage. We can see these shin guards here are $30 and have 2,600 reviews. These are actually, these are super pumping and they just look pretty expensive right here too. We take a look over on Dick's Sporting Goods. They're actually only $13.99. And the cool thing about Dick's Sporting Goods is if we scroll down here, we can see they actually have a 10% email signup code right here as well. So it's really 12.8 right here. So this is actually uh, already profitable. Pretty sure it's the same product. However, if we go ahead and take a look at last year here, the year long, we can see that the competition was like 20 sellers and it was like 18 bucks in early August. And then the price absolutely went to the moon in September. So this was a little bit of a late bloomer because it makes sense that people are looking for soccer season in you know, September and October, as opposed to like July. The demand was good regardless here, but this totally like absolutely went to the moon here and became really good. So this would be a good item to deploy that strategy on in terms of taking a look and going to the buy box statistics. However, it's also the type of item you want to have organized to get ahead and be ready to source in uh, July and August as well. And the best way to do that is going to be going ahead and adding this to Selleramp spreadsheet. So Selleramp has this feature, if we go down here, where you can actually one click and export out your products here. So all I had to do is click back to school 2024 FBM leads and all of this data automatically populates. Y'all see that just popped up right there. And then I would just go ahead and add this in and say pay 12.8, it's good whenever it's 27 plus, for example, right here, right? I'd obviously correct that. But that lets you stay incredibly organized here and actually go ahead and check this stuff. Now, going further along with that, what you can also do is set what's called a Keepa alerts. Like for example, those backpacks and like the crayons, you might wanna go and figure out what the buy cost is on lots of websites after their coupons. And then go ahead and actually hit track products in Keepa and have yourself be notified when this hits a certain strike price. So this product actually was already uh, profitable here, but the cool thing is, say it wasn't, you could set a keep alert and get an email notification when this hits 28 or more, for example, or 27 or more, or 32 or more, for example, or hit the other variations and run that for specifically right here and such, right? So all we gotta do is go track product and then set a criteria of where we'll be profitable and then hit start tracking here, and then one click export that out to a Google Sheet in Selleramp. And the cool thing is in just a couple clicks, we have that item organized to take advantage of forever. So keep a tracking and Selleramp spreadsheets are an incredible feature to stay organized and have as many leads prepared as possible, especially items you're going to find using that storefront stalking strategy we talked about with the buy box statistic. So overall, back to school is going to be incredibly good opportunity for a lot of you guys this year. My boys, Max, Max, Peter, and Dre, some other coaching students took full advantage of it last year and were able to see massive growth really, really quick. Then I got to actually hang out with uh, Max and Peter and then the other Max as well 
at ASD and Amazon United, like right after, right after they had hit their first like 10, 20 K profit months. And if you're interested in working directly with me to be as prepared as possible for back to school and to take advantage of back to school when it's here, now is a perfect time to join my coaching program. You'll get to go through seeing Mother's Day sales and Memorial's Day sales and Father's Day sales, and then ultimately 4th of July sales as well as back to school really starts to get kicked off. We'll have a one-on-one live sourcing call as well. And you're going to be around tons of other sellers, sellers that you see on uh, the page right here, as we can see a bunch of different testimonials here, sellers we've helped win as well and such. So if you're interested in getting direct one-on-one personal help from me, go ahead and apply for the coaching program down below. Then if you're interested in more good free content, you can check out my full free course right here and my full ungating tour right here. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.